Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm back here at Walker Ford and we have something very, very special that you don't see very often. This is a 2016 Volkswagen Beetle Dune. But this Beetle Dune is not like any other that you've seen before. This actually has a stage three tune from APR. But before we get into the Beetle Dune, let's talk a little bit about Volkswagen Beetle history. Volkswagen, that brand that's been around since 1937, believe it or not, the air-cooled version of the Beetle, they sold over 21 million examples of that model. With this 2016 Beetle Dune, Volkswagen wanted to bring a little bit more muscular styling and a different drive perspective from this overall performance. Now, Beetle Dune, it's to kind of trace back to those dune buggy days of the 1960s and early 70s, with the Beetle Dune, though, you're actually getting a Volkswagen that is about an inch wider than the standard version. Also, some unique styling cues that have been taken right from the Volkswagen Beetle Red Bull Global Rally Cross car that went on to win championships with Tanner Faust behind the wheel. So let's go ahead, dive into this 2016 Volkswagen Beetle Dune and see what makes it unique and special. Right off the bat, I love the color of it. So from the factory, you have the black. This one has the silver racing stripes that have been added. And like I said, when it comes to performance, there's some APR goodness going under, on underneath the hood. One thing you'll notice is that they added the little caps over the headlights. So you have that traditional oval round shape headlight design that goes all the way back to the air cool days. Inside is going to be all LED lights, headlight, you got your daytime running lamps. What I like is by adding this extra piece, it gives it more personality and kind of breaks up the styling. It almost seems like this should have been a piece right from the factory. Now, as we drop down, you do have this fake vent design, which I am gonna zonk, but you do have lower fog lamps. It would have been nice to actually make this a functional side air curtain, just open it up a little bit. We come across that iconic front end. Now, even though this doesn't have an air-cooled engine and the engine is up front instead of the back, it has that nice retro styling that made these cars popular for so many years. And believe it or not, 2016 was actually the first year of the Beetle Dune. Now, with those racing stripes coming all the way down, I love how they have this nice open horizontal slot here for cooling. Of course, you're gonna have this lower grill area that's all open, flat black, and a little bit of this silver trim and simulated um, front protection, off-road protection. This was unique styling to the Beetle Dune. Now, when we get up onto the hood, racing stripes look great. I love the way they encompass that Volkswagen logo, the people's car, far for Nugent. Definitely gonna have some driving enjoyment, some driving pleasure behind the wheel of this with the extra horsepower. Now, when we get to the side of the car, like I was saying, the car is about almost an inch wider. It sits about a half inch higher. I know a lot of times we're talking about lowering cars. This one actually sits about a half inch higher than a standard Beetle to give it that dune appearance. But I love the machined aluminum that they have with the gloss black. If you're wondering well, what's, what, what's going on with this wheel, what size is this? This is an 18 inch wheel and you're looking at a 235 on the width, 45 series sidewall, and this wheel is specific to the Beetle Dune. They take that flat black around the fender treatment to tie in that off-road look, and this is gonna help give us that extra width of the, of the vehicle. Now, when we go down the fender, you have that very unique shaped fender to do that retro styling. I like the bright silver on the mirror caps. That was a Beetle Dune touch, and then down below, you have, of course, the dune badging, and I'm really digging this split level lower sill area here. So you have this extension part up here, and then you have a little bit of silver that kind of followed us from the front down the side as well. And also the nice brushed aluminum trim just along the bottom of the, of the uh, windows here, I think is just enough. I'm glad that they didn't encompass the whole set of windows in the silver trim. Nice size sunroof. The racing stripes go all the way back. You got that flared out fender look, especially with the addition of that uh, plastic trim. On the Beetle Dune, you get a nice kick, rear kick up spoiler, and then you drop back, you got your turbo badge. Yes, this is a turbocharged car. 
And then there's the, that thing that I told you that surprised me right off the bat. It's not just the emblems. The power does come with it. An APR stage three tune. Very, very clean. You have a dual exit exhaust, the dual tips on one side, and also that silver followed it from the back, excuse me, from the front to the back to give it a nice cohesive look. But why don't we go ahead, let's pop the hood and see what's powering this Beetle Dune. All right, guys, we got the hood popped. There is a prop rod, which we are gonna zonk. Underneath the hood, though, what are we talking about? Stock from the factory stock, not as it sits now. This has a 1.8 liter inline four turbocharged engine, stock 170 horsepower with 184 pound-feet of torque. The sad news is there's only one transmission option. I am mean, gonna zonk that. It's a six-speed automatic, but here's the good news. With that stage three tune, now you could get different stages, stages one, two, and three. A stage one tune would give you 215 horsepower and 247 pound-feet of torque. This stage three tune, you're looking at around 300 horsepower from this tune setup. You'll notice the carbon fiber air box here with the APR badging. If you ever wonder what, what does APR stand for? APR stands for Audi Performance Racing. It was actually started back in 1997. And remember, Volkswagen is that parent company of Audi. That's where you have that German connection and why you see APR on this particular car. Weight of the Beetle Dune is 3,087 pounds. And like I was saying, this actually first came about this year, 2016. Looking underneath the hood, it's very interesting to see that it's mostly stock appearance-wise, besides the carbon fiber air box that you have here. But why don't we go ahead, let's fire up this Beetle Dune and see what it sounds like. All right, guys, we're inside the 2016 Volkswagen Beetle Dune. I know you're probably at that point. You're like, Joe, this car is unique. It does stand out. And with that stage three tune and that kind of power, how much is it? They have it marked. Walker Ford has it marked right now at $17,995. Let's see what you get for the money. Now, remember, when it comes to styling of the door panels and interior pieces, Volkswagen brings some of that outside color inside. So with this car being black, that's why there's that dark black across the top there. It does have the optional Fender audio sound system. And I like the silver accents. Everything else on the door panel is gonna be that German simplicity. One thing that's fascinating though is that the door pocket actually has a cloth strap there to where you could put your Bavarian cream Twinkies in the door panel and they're not gonna fall out as you're driving your Beetle Dune. Same black here, remember if you go different color like the yellow that they have this would all be yellow you have that old school style glove box we open it up you could put a couple king size snickers in there that's about it for room close it back up and then here's your infotainment system setup now this is a very small five inch infotainment system screen obviously this is 2016 so it's a few years old but i wish it was just a little bit larger it is a touch screen which is nice um, and you do have the ability to get into your nice you know simple to use swipe features and whatnot we drop down you're going to get dual climate control flat black which is nice so you don't have to worry about the fingerprints really easy to set the temperature for the dual climate you do have heated seats but not ventilated seats a couple toggle switches and then down below you could fill this up with skittles and taste the rainbow in your dune and then you also have a usb and an aux jack there's your 12 volt i hate these plugs if you have kids you're going to lose this plug so I don't know what you're gonna do about that. That's, that's your problem, not mine. Uh, start stop button, nice bright silver. This is for that six speed automatic transmission, only transmission available with some silver trim. I do like the way they took the yellow stitching and put it everywhere. This is part of the Dune package. So yellow stitch work, yellow stitch work, good old fashioned e-brake. Here is your key fob. There's your Volkswagen key fob. Push button start like I pointed out. Turn around, there's your buttons. Easy to figure out. Armrest is as hard as a German rock. The good news is you open that up and you could put easily, I would say three packages of Reese's peanut butter cups. So that's a nice feature. And then the good news is you could flip it out of the way. So if you have your date and you wanna put your hand a little easier on their leg, whoever your date is, you have that access. Plus you have breath mints and Jolly Ranchers. Really nice. 
seats. It's a combo of leather with the cloth material. I do like the yellow piping and the stitch work. The bad news is it's manual seat controls for the passenger and the driver, but the seats are very comfy and I do like the combination. Normally I don't like the cloth, but this is actually grippy and I'm, I have a feeling that with this APR stage three tune, you're probably gonna want a little grip to stick you to the seat. And then you have a nice size sunroof, which if you don't want the sun to come in, you just close the shade, which is really nice. I'm six feet tall, plenty of headroom, plenty of shoulder room. Come on over to the business end. I want to show you behind the wheel of this Beetle Dune. All right, guys, business time behind the wheel. You can see the manual controls. A little bit weird to kind of do, you know, turn the hands of time with this wheel. Then you have that lower lumbar, which is nice, but it's all manual. It's, it's easy to get to your body. I do like the side bolstering. The bottom bolstering is very low. We have the door open and that's why it's beeping at us. Steering wheel though, look, there's that yellow contrast stitching, which is great. It lets you know that you're in that special Beetle Dune. They only made this for two years. Flat bottom steering wheel, nice flat black on the buttons, a little bit of gloss, but it's out of the way. And then the dash, they bring that whole Beetle Dune setup with the yellow trim around your analog speedometer, tachometer, and fuel gauge. And then you have that very, very small uh, digital display to letting us know that our door is open, which I said okay. Now it starts, stops beeping. So if you have your door open, hit okay and the beeping goes away. Back seat, very, very tight. I'm going to have Tom kind of, I'm going to get out of the way and have Tom kind of show you what's going on with the back seat because it's a little on the tighter side. So there's the seat. I'll go ahead and jump in, Tom. I think everybody will probably be happier if I do that. So into the back seat. The great news is, is that if you're six feet tall like me, you still got plenty of headroom, which is surprising. Eh, not too bad on the armrest back here. A little bit of that gloss black. Would I want to stay back here all day long? No. But why don't we go ahead, check out the trunk area and see how usable this Volkswagen Beetle really is. All right, guys, time to check out. Remember, this is a hatchback. This whole area, there's no air-cooled engine. This is where your cargo area is. Real simple. You're just going to take the Volkswagen badge, tilt it up, lift up, and look at the amount of room that we have. Quite impressive for a smaller car, but the good news is you're looking at 15 cubic feet of space. This one does have the Fender audio sound system, so you do have the subwoofer in the back, takes up a little bit of room. And then of course these seats are gonna do the 60-40 split, which I'm not gonna be able to probably fold down all the way because we have the seat in the back position, but those would obviously fold down. I'll go ahead and do it for everybody because I know I'm probably gonna get complaints, but there's one side and then I'm going to go ahead and there's the other side. They don't lay flat even with the seat kind of blocking the way they don't lay flat, but let me go ahead. I'll get this side for you too. That's as flat as they're going to go. So at least you have the accessibility to fold those seats down to get things in and out. The impressive thing, like I said, is the amount of room and a nice large opening back here. But if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go ahead and take this APR tuned Beetle Dune for a spin. All right, guys, we're in the 2016 Volkswagen Beetle Dune. We're leaving Walker Ford. Right away, it's interesting because of the way that the car has that retro styling. It, it gives it a very unique driving experience and once we get a little bit of open road I'm gonna lay on the throttle and see exactly what that stage 3 tune is all about now remember we're still front-wheel drive base so what that means is is that we're probably gonna be struggling for some grip if all that power is just going to the front wheels hey guys on throttle Wow it drops down the six speed drops down and very very smooth power delivery What's surprising though, is that it's actually getting the power to the ground. So the way that the tune is set up with the boost, how it comes in at a more progressive linear power delivery is to allow the traction to actually happen so that you could get off and running. Right, guys, pulling away from the light, back on throttle. You can hear a little bit of a turbo sound coming from the front end of the car. But it's one of those things where it's a very balanced package. Overall, seating position is great. Even for somebody taller, I think you're gonna not have a big challenge fitting in this uh, Beetle Dune. Steering has a nice weight to it. And visibility, especially out the back window, is, is really, really good. 
drive around the highway here, nice smooth ride. And I'm very curious what this is gonna handle like once we throw it into a corner and see how that front wheel drive setup is going to, uh, how's it gonna handle in the long run. But driving down the road here, very, very smooth. And where everything is located, it's easy to get to. So that's really well thought out by Volkswagen. All right guys, back on throttle. Let's see how she handles in this left-hand bend. On the brakes, brake feedback is good. Tip it in a little bit. It does push, obviously, being front-wheel drive. Back on throttle. Just have it in automatic mode. You really can feel the way that the car is set up that you are gonna be struggling for grip, especially if you're trying to obviously accelerate coming out of a turn. And that's where you're gonna to have to be just a little ready for when you wanna put the, the throttle down to try to get as much grip as you can. But the good news is, is that the car steering wise has really nice feedback coming through the wheel. It just has those usual front wheel drive tendencies, which going into it, you shouldn't be surprised because it is a front wheel drive vehicle. And with that extra power, you're asking more from the front tires, but super smooth. The power delivery is very, very surprising on how smooth it is. Come out of the corner. It'd be very interesting to see this car with the DCT setup that they run in the GTIs or even a manual. I really wish that with at least the Beetle Dune Volkswagen would have gone a different direction with the transmission type. I think what's really holding the car back overall, especially if you're gonna produce more and more power, is gonna be that six-speed automatic transmission over the DCT transmission that they use in vehicles like the Golf R and the GTI. But, you know, it's a fun car, it's a unique car, and definitely with some of the extra touches on it from Volkswagen and from APR, uh, I think that it could be a, a car that if you want to stand out and you want a little extra performance, then this really uh, hits the nail on the head. But we're going to go ahead, get back to Walker Ford and wrap this one up. So I'll see you in a split second. All right, guys, what a wonderful day here at Walker Ford. Definitely going to thank Frank Walker, Weston Walker, Tracy, Benji, Mark, Austin, the whole crew here. What can we say about this Volkswagen Beetle Dune? Definitely a very unique, interesting vehicle. And with those extra performance gains, quite surprising, especially for a car that many people would not assume has that kind of power underneath the hood. But if it's specialty cars like these that you want to keep seeing on the channel, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new and you're on your way out, hit the subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rise family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, click the link in the description. Get yourself some Radies Rise merch. You got to give it up to Big Guns McGee doing the work out here in the Florida sun. Thank you, Tom, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.